everybody, my name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle functions video of the week. This week I'm going to be going over the subclavius muscle. I will go over starting with the location which includes the origin and insertion and also show you where it is on my body and then I'll follow that with functions and then finally give you some exercise examples so you know how to strengthen this muscle as well. So to start off with the location of the subclavius muscle, it is originated on to the superior aspect of the first rib at its junction at its costal cartilage, okay? And then inserts onto the inferior groove at the midpoint of your clavicle, all right? So as far as location goes, okay, your clavicle, obviously, this right in here, this bone right in here, okay, your first rib is pretty much right below that clavicle, all right? And that costal cartilage lies right before your sternum right here, okay? And then the rib connects to that costal cartilage. So right there, right about in there is the origin, and then the insertion would be to that inferior groove on that clavicle at that midpoint of the clavicle. Now it is kind of actually difficult to palpitate by itself due to the uh, pectoralis minor actually running through there as well, but no worries. Um, it is there obviously, but that is the location of the subclavius muscle. Okay. As far as functions go for the subclavius muscle, we're looking at uh, stabilization and protection of the sternoclavicular joint. And where that is, is pretty much where the sternum and the clavicular clavicle, excuse me, come together, okay? So pretty much right here is your clavicle, and then right here is your sternum, okay? So it's pretty much that little spot right there where they meet up, okay? We're also looking at scapular depression, okay? That's whenever you're, if your shoulders are up and you push them straight down, okay? Let's see if I can get a better angle, okay? Up and then down, okay? And then we're also looking at abduction, scapular abduction, or known as protraction. So it's whenever your scapula pulls apart from the spine, okay? So your scapula does this, all right? And motions like this would actually do that for you, okay? So if you move your shoulders forward, you're actually pulling your scapula away from the midline or the spine, okay? So to pull it forward, pull your shoulders forward, you're pulling the scapula away. So that would be protraction or scapular abduction, all right? So as far as exercises go, you're looking at things like dips, push-ups, uh, bench press. Now it wouldn't be the main muscle that would be in work. It would be kind of like um, an assister muscle it would help with the movement. It wouldn't uh, do, it wouldn't be that specific muscle for that movement only because of the size of the muscle. It's not very large, so it wouldn't be able to move too much uh, weight. So you have the bigger muscles that actually take over. This muscle would just aid in the movement, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and insert some exercises right here for you.
Now I hope everybody has enjoyed my video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. If you have any questions or comments that you would like to add in or ask me, you may add them into the comment section below. But if no other questions, I hope you enjoyed it again and I hope that I see you again next week. So I hope everybody has a productive and active week. Thanks everybody for watching again and enjoy your week. See you guys later.